Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be making another recipe from the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. I'm going to be making Irish soda bread. So when we were in England, towards the end of the trip when it started getting cooler and wasn't quite so sunny and warm, I started craving Irish soda bread and Molly's creamy onion soup. And so I've continued to be wanting that since being back and I decided since today is a little bit more of a chilly day, it's actually like in the low 60s, high 50s, which is pretty cold, um, I'm going to make it. So I'm pretty excited. Um, to start off with, you'll need just a few ingredients. You'll need flour, of course, which I don't have out here, um, milk, lemon juice to make buttermilk, or else you can just have buttermilk. Uh, baking soda, salt, cream of tartar, um, four tablespoons of butter, and an egg. So, let's get started. Okay, so first off, I set the oven, I preheated it to 425 degrees, and now in my large mixing bowl, I'm going to whisk together the dry ingredients. So the salt, the flour, the baking soda, the cream of tartar, and just get it all nice and mixed in here. Okay, I forgot to state that you want to add three tablespoons of just plain light sugar to the dry mixture. And once you have it all mixed together, you're going to take your butter and cut it into cubes and rub it into the flour mixture. Um, once you have done that, you will, um, with a spoon, because the mixture is heavily floury, so you'll, with a wooden spoon, mix in your egg and buttermilk. And I'll show you how to make the buttermilk in just a second. Okay, so the, when I make buttermilk, I just take the measuring cup that you need and measure out however much milk well, buttermilk you need. So this recipe calls for one and a half cups. So I will pour in just a little bit, maybe like one and a third, one and a fourth, a little bit less than one and a half cups of milk. And then with your lemon juice, I'm just going to pour this to make it up to one and a half cups. The lemon juice is just going to curdle the milk and make it to be like what buttermilk is. Okay, so once the dough has come together and you kind of need it, you're going to grease a cookie sheet and stick the dough um, just as a ball on top of the cookie sheet. And then you will lightly uh, flour the top of it. So right now I'm just kind of rolling it. I wish you could see it in the flour that's left over in the bowl that didn't quite mix to get it on top. So you'll just take it as a little ball and stick it on the cookie sheet. And with it on the cookie sheet, you will then make an X on it. So you'll take your knife and make an X on it. Like this. Okay, when it is done, it should look something like this with the X and being lightly floured. And you will stick it in your preheated oven for um, 15 minutes.
when the 15 minutes are up you will turn it down to 350 degrees and bake it for another 40 minutes okay so to go along with the Irish soda bread that I'm making I'm going to make this creamy onion soup uh, Molly makes the soup and bread together for Harry and Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince in chapter 5 um, so for this recipe, it's pretty simple. You need um, two onions, some broth, you can use chicken broth or vegetable broth. Since my sister who is eating this with me is a vegetarian, we always use vegetable broth. I like the taste of it better too. Um, salt and pepper, two tablespoons of butter, a third a cup of flour, and then some milk. You will use two cups whole milk divided so okay to start off with I'm going to wear my super awesome onion goggles I definitely recommend getting them if you want to you hate cutting up onions they're the best Christmas gift that I've received like one of the best at least so I'm going to wash and chop these onions Okay, so once you are done chopping your onions, you want to stick them in a pot with your butter and saute them together until the onions are like translucent, translucent and golden brown. Okay, so I just pulled the bread out of the oven and it looks delicious. And the onions are also done cooking, so I'm going to add the salt and pepper, just however much you want, and the vegetables off. Okay, so while the soup is coming to a boil, you are going to bring your one third cup of milk together with one third a cup of flour and mix it so there's no more lumps. Okay, so once the soup is boiling, you're gonna add your flour and milk mixture to the soup just to help thicken it up. And you wanna stir it really well while doing so. Okay, now that the soup is boiling and has thickened, we're just gonna add the rest of the milk to it and mix it together. Just to make it a little bit more creamier. Um, as soon as it, the soup has heated all the way through, you are free to eat it whenever you want. So, yeah, it looks good.